In this video will talk about using web links in Blackboard. Uh, there's a couple of different ways that can be accomplished, so we will go through those. Uh, the first is to add them to your course menu. Um, my only concern here is you want to be mindful of how long that menu gets. Um, <clears throat> however, uh, let's take a look at that process. So if you want to share, add a web link to your course menu, you'll use this plus button at the top left corner and you will select uh, web link. It'll ask you to name it. So let's say you wanted to link to the uh, Miguel Library webpage, or if you wanted to share the Purdue Owls resources, you can name it, and then you'll uh, copy and paste your link into this URL space, and then you'll make it available to students. Um, I'm just gonna grab a link here for the sake of it. So let's just say we paste that in there. Um, Unsplash is a collection of royalty-free images. Um, we'll talk about that a little bit later on. So I've titled it, I've pasted my link in, and then click Submit. Um, by default, it should open in a new tab, which is kind of what we want. That way it uh, allows students to keep their place within Blackboard. And if for some reason it doesn't um, default that way, you can click the menu icon next to it and you can change that here. So um, right now it says uh, set link to, op uh, to current window, which would mean here, and we don't want that. Um, and then if you need to rename the link or change it, you can use these other functions on the menu. So that's the first way you can add a web link to a course. Another way that you can do it is through build content. Um, it's gonna be pretty much the same process. You're going to need to name it so let's stick with that uh, example. We can paste in our web link. Uh, and then the text box down below, what I like to use this for is to provide a little context to where I'm sending them. So I could tell them about Unsplash and say, hey, this is a website where you can pull images for your projects that are royalty free. Um, that to me kind of helps encourage students to use the resources that I'm putting out there. And so that, uh, that's uh, you name it, you include your URL, any text that you'd like, it's not required. Um, we want it to open in a new window, we want them to be able to see it, and then we can track the number of views. So if you're asking students to go look at a, let's say, professional organization, later on you'd be able to see how many and which students uh, click this web link. When you get finished, you click the submit button. So now we have that link on our menu and also uh, as a web link in our content area. Um, but anywhere that you can access a text editor, you can insert a hyperlink. So one of our previous examples was building a weekly overview using a content item. Um, so let's grab that uh, text from earlier. And let's just say this is the overview of my week. If I wanna send them to a website, I can um, copy and paste that website into the text box. If it doesn't, by default, make it a link. Um, you highlight your URL and then you, you'll use this little chain link icon. It's going to cause a pop-up to open up and it, it's redundant, but you'll paste in your website again. The, this target space, we want to change it to open in a new window and that's so we can keep students from losing their place in Blackboard. The title's not required. This is more of an accessibility thing, so if you wanted to put an alt tag or alt description there, that's what that space would be for. Um, and then click insert, and it'll uh, take that uh, URL and create a hyperlink. Um, and then when you click submit, it will be included in that item and link out to the website of your choice. So those are the three ways that you can include web links in your class. Do, do, to do a quick recap, um, that's going to be through the course menu in the top left corner, by building a content item and selecting web link, or by inserting a URL and then creating a hyperlink in an item or anywhere else that you have a text editor.